Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to the Minecraft Snapshot Tour. So we are playing today, which is September 16th, 2015, Wednesday, typical Snapshot Wednesday. We're playing Minecraft 15W38A. Let's get started. It's not going to be a long episode, I don't think. Um, the big news on today's Snapshot... Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. The big news on today's snapshot is uh, skeleton horses. Um, hi, lava. Oh, there's iron. Um, <laughs> skeleton horses. Everyone's all a Twitter about that. So there's a 0.02% chance in a thunderstorm of a lightning strike spawning four skeleton horses with skeleton riders skeleton horses have been in the game for quite some time however up till now you've never been able they've never spawned naturally so you would have to oh say use command block or, or map builders might be able to use them but they weren't something that outside of creative or with cheats that you're ever going to see so now they're part of the game they look like they're pretty uh pretty nasty but they're ultra rare so if you run into one it's kind of like the the killer bunny from the 1.8 snapshot where they introduced rabbits so but there was another big change to the game oh look diamonds let's get some diamonds this little intersection is super uh, super packed with stuff there's another change that they made the intention was to fix a bug that has been in the game for a long time. And I'll show you what what's going on and why it has some people upset. So I just I just dug down and there's at least one iron ore sitting down there. Now in the past I would be able to just go fill this in. And that iron ore would pop up to the surface here and I'd go into my inventory. But notice it's not because it's still down there I'm a little bit upset at this um, so they made it so that if if you place a block and there's a item sitting there like a floating broken block like this it will it prefers to go the way they put it is it prefers to go down than up but as far as I can tell, they removed the possibility of it going up at all. So if I place this here, it'll pop it out. That makes sense. I mean, after all, you can't really have an item and a, and a block occupying the same space. It kind of violates the, the laws of physics, right? I mean, so I mean, that block's down there. And it's not like I can pick it up just by walking over it. So, say I dig down a couple, traditionally I just would do this, and I'd get all those blocks, but it doesn't work now. I have to actually jump down there, collect all the blocks, and, uh, and pick them all up. It's kind of annoying. And if you have like a creeper explosion in the desert, like guess what, I had one earlier today. I was trying to get a freaking zombie villager. Um, when the sand falls in, it doesn't fill up. It doesn't fill out. It doesn't displace all the broken sand, all the broken sand items. It doesn't put them up. If you want them, you have to actually go digging down into the, into the sand to get them now, which doesn't make any sense to me. So the, why, why did they do this? Why did they want to 
make it so that blocks don't want to go up? Well, the answer is because they've, there's been a bug in the game for a long time where mobs in particular, but it turns out entities in general can glitch through blocks. So, what does this mean? Well, um, it means that my pen of she of uh, chicken and uh, and cows up there, though now in theory should stay in their pens, which is nice, because that's been kind of a problem before. You you probably noticed or remember that every now and then. I go out and there's a chicken wandering around outside and I'm like, where did that chicken come from? Well, the, the, the thing is that the chicken's hitbox um, sort of intersects partially with the, uh, with the hitbox of the fence because the fence has kind of an irregular hitbox. And, um, oh, look, gold, gold. Now, so, so here's an example where this change is going to make life a little bit difficult because to get at that, I have to dig out extra blocks. And that's never been the case before. Um, <clears throat> so if the chicken partially intersects with the fence hitbox, at the chicken's hitbox, the game has to decide where the chicken is. And it moves it off to one side or the other, which makes perfect sense. And sometimes, and it's just a rounding. Whoa, 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 shoot. Ah. Um, it's, and it's a rounding thing. Sometimes it'll choose to put it on the inside of what I feel is the inside of the fence. And sometimes it's going to put it on what it feels, it feels is the outside of the fence. I get it yes um, so that you know that's that's kind of understandable um, an unfortunate glitch uh, in the game but uh, what it means is that periodically um, periodically mobs kind of escape Okay, so this, this mean there's going to be lava under all these, of course. Ooh. Uh, anyway, so so that was kind of always kind of annoying that mobs could escape. So if you're building a a chicken farm, you might have chickens getting out. So you'd have to sort of keep your chickens bred up nicely, uh, or you potentially have them slowly all escape and eventually you run out of chickens. Okay, that's fine. That, I mean, it's certainly an annoying bug. And uh, I'm glad that they finally figured out what caused that particular, that particular glitch. Um, so that in itself is fine. Um, and, but they decided to fix it by not allowing items or yeah not allowing items to be displaced upwards and what does this mean well this means the uh, the practical upshot of this is that item elevators don't work anymore and uh People aren't freaking out about this yet. I think they will once they realize exactly how big of a deal this is. In the uh, the Mojang, now see, I have no way of getting to that block other than to jump up and go get it. I have to break blocks again, putting additional wear on my pickaxe in order to go get that block. That's really annoying. Anyway, so this is going to cause a lot of people a lot of pain and um, and I think people are going to be completely freaked out when they realize that. 
everyone's too distracted oops too distracted by the uh, the skeleton horses I think that's what they were focusing on in, on the reddit so on the subreddit um, oh is there gonna be lava up here no oh good okay um, so that they didn't there was some discussion of this but people weren't like completely freaked out um, in the uh, the Jira the Mojang bug tracker system uh, the uh, the user story that was there to to implement the fix they pointed out that this would likely upset people because of the item elevator thing and that they recommended here's a way that we can maintain item elevator functionality but that didn't get implemented so uh, hopefully they'll, they'll tweak it and realize that it doesn't make sense um, that it makes life painful in other ways uh, the item elevator thing was always taking advantage of this particular glitch that if you manage to get an item stuck inside a block it would float up it would move up to the top of the block so if you had a, a, a column of solid blocks above a point where you force an item into that block it would go up to the top of the the column and it was always preferable to uh, dropper elevators which is kind of the the uh, I think what they how they intended for people to elevate blocks up oh see that one popped out into my, into my pocket nicely I didn't have to jump down and get it uh, but dropper elevators are they're expensive and they're noisy so they're kind of annoying and uh, it would be nice not to have to rely on them uh, the the glass item elevator I mean typically they were done with glass that you could do any solid block um, they were nice because they were reliable they were quiet it just they just kind of worked there wasn't any redstone involved um, so it just kind of worked another consequence of this is that shifting floor mob designs like these guys now I to get them I have to, uh, it's annoying um, to uh, so so shifting floor designs relied on the fact that when the hitbox of the blocks that make up a floor move around the the hitbox of mobs I guess would kind of not be perfectly aligned with them so they would kind of fall through the cracks as it were um, but I think they've been working on trying to fix that even in the 1.8 series so I think 188 I noticed that the witch worm stopped working and apparently although I'm, I'm still somewhat behind um, on my on my YouTube uh, subscriptions apparently somebody noticed on the hermitcraft server that one of their the witch huts in their their quad witch hut farm design stopped working and i think they assumed that something got messed up like a block got misplaced or somebody did something dumb but i think it was mojang and i think nobody just i just think nobody noticed oh that was lucky so anyway um i'm gonna stop ranting on that now um, I left a comment on the the Mojang bug tracker even though the bug is uh, closed so I don't know if anyone will read it um, there hasn't really been a lot of good dis discussion on this on the the subreddit so I didn't I didn't really I didn't comment there although I may do that later on this evening so hopefully this is something that uh, gets tweaked because I think it needs to be tweaked. My and and here's here's my objection is we have an item I think I already said this but we have an item down there if 
I place a block, now that block and that item are now occupying the same space. And nothing else in Minecraft works that way. Nothing else is able to do that. You know, the mobs can even push you now, which used to be able to walk right through them. So it, it, it doesn't make sense. It kind of violates the laws of physics. I, I would think that given, you know, they say it prefers to move to the side or down, which is great. But if there's no opportunity for it to go down, it should go up. And maybe there's a limit to how far it goes up. Maybe it can only go up a couple of blocks. Maybe um, if it goes up more than a couple of blocks, it, it'll fall out to the side. I, I think that would be a, uh, a fine sort of workaround um, that would allow for, you know, that would allow for the, the physics to still make sense. Um, and maybe they maybe they nerfed the item elevators. I mean that that to me is less of an issue. They've done that kind of thing before, um, and there is an alternative. The dropper elevators do work. They're just kind of annoying. So uh, you know it, now it means on when we move move to 1.9 on the Minecraft land party server, I'm gonna have to go rebuild. Uh, a bunch of a bunch of farms the item elevator and the guardian farm is going to have to be completely redone and that's fine i can deal with that it isn't the the elevator thing isn't what bugs me the most what bugs me the most is when i'm digging out blocks and i fill in fill in the uh the hole um it should pop up hang on a second my phone is ringing I'm a bad YouTuber. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so one other thing. Look, I've got some ender pearls. So I was out there trying to uh, to catch some zombie villager types, and not having a lot of luck. But I did get a couple of endermen, and one of them dropped two pearls. So uh, let's let's go take a trip, and I'll show you the work that I did in the nether. Oh, goodness. The lag spike is real. Okay, hello. Oh, I'm standing in the doorway. So I started building this last time, uh, and I completed it. It was a little tedious. Floor is all slabbed, uh, so it's only two and a half blocks tall, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, and uh, I've got torches up for lighting and the torches aren't helping anything keep anything from spawning I put up this little room here because we're out over the lava oh so cute um, so you can see what's going on so I had to go into the desert get some glass some some sand small tin of glass and uh, since I've got a squid farm around my place oops oops get out Oh, there we go. Hi, dude. All right. Um, so yeah. So here we are in the uh, at the end of portal. I previously filled in a couple more spots, but uh, let's do a few more. Pop, pop, and pop. So now I still need three more, but we're getting close to be able to get this lit up. And uh, hey, dude. Yeah. I guess you can stay there. Oh, I need to craft. Do I have a... I don't even have a chest in here. And I didn't bring enough stuff to build on. I, I should I should put a chest in here with some building materials. I need to put a little stair in here. Make it a little easier to get into. Hey, you're on my crafting table. That's kind of rude. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and then I need to go back up in here. There's that spot that I kind of went through that had all the, the skeletons in it. I'm sure there's a spawner up there. It would be really nice to have a relatively convenient uh, XP farm. Skelet like a skeleton spawner XP farm would be kind of nice. And it also would help me with the arrow situation. Um, I have a stack of arrows right now, but then I don't have too many more at home. 
and I don't have a uh, infinity enchantment on my bow yet so um, you know I, I do have to worry about the arrow situation and standing out in the desert trying to uh, catch a zombie villager is uh, is an interesting exercise um, and I end up using a lot of arrows trying to shoot at the creepers and whatnot so they don't come and blow me up here we are back at home home again home again uh, notice I'm 28 levels I had to repair my pick I enchanted a couple more things so I've got you know protection 4 protection 3 protection 4 protection 3 the helmet's pretty good I got respiration and aqua affinity on there too depth strider would be really nice on the boots but we're working on it oh ho um, so I've been smelting up stuff as a way of working on my levels um, so when I go mining come up with a bunch of uh, cobble because I don't have a make sure there are no creepers lingering about Why are only 63? Oh well. Um, anyway, so smelting things up is actually a pretty decent way of getting experience. Breeding animals is another decent way of getting experience. Killing animals is a decent way of getting experience. Um, but mining and digging up... Oops. Uh, it turns out digging up... You know... Coal redstone and uh, things like that is a very good way of getting experience so I'm slowly working my way back up to the 30 level so I can try another enchant see if I can get a silk touch pick that would be nice although the fortune pick is very nice when it comes to getting diamonds um, so yeah uh, let's see I didn't do too much out here I put some pumpkins in the ground some jack-o-lanterns for lighting um, I did this because my plan is once I do get a villager in here, I'm going to leave them cooped up inside. I wanted the jack-o'-lanterns for lighting so no zombie can spawn inside and zombify them. And then I figure other zombies will come up and walk up here trying to get at the villager and then I can build more catchers right around here next to them. And, and catch more because I need at least a couple of villagers then I can start breeding them and all that but um, so I've been I've been hanging out around here at night trying to uh, catch myself a zombie villager I've seen a couple um, or I saw yeah I saw a couple that were spawned together unfortunately they got blown up by a creeper I got myself stuck in a corner and uh, the creeper blew up and killed the zombies which is unfortunate um so yeah i don't think there's much else to report i didn't i didn't see any other obvious issues with this snapshot um and honestly my impression my feeling is that until they adjust the item block intersection issue the game isn't super playable um, it makes life quite a bit more difficult especially when mining um, so I, I assume they're going to get quite a bit of grief from people about the change and hopefully it's uh, intelligent well-reasoned grief but if point out that it does not it then is inconsistent that things don't behave in that case the way they do in every other case in the game um, hopefully that's a compelling enough argument that they will uh, they will decide to uh, to tweak things and make it behave differently um, I noticed the problem actually when I was placing in these jack-o'-lanterns 
because I had some stuff. I had some dirt or some sand here. Let me just throw in a couple things of wood. And I had my jack-o'-lanterns. And I was like, oh, okay. And then they didn't pop up. I'm like, oh, did they change something so jack-o'-lanterns no longer push items? Started experimenting. And no, they changed everything. <laughs> they changed items so that they no longer get pushed by blocks. Which, uh... As I've already said, I think is the wrong decision, but hey, it's their game. We don't have to play it. Uh, so anyway, that's it. I think I'm done. I haven't done too much more. Um, I'll probably sit out here and kill some more, hopefully kill some more Endermen. Be nice to get the uh, end portal uh, lit up so I can get into the end and see what that situation has changed with the uh, end dragon. But, uh, and then all the end content post-Dragon. Uh, but yeah. So, I'm going to call that an episode. And we'll see. I was hoping there would be a follow-up snapshot today. But there was not. So maybe they'll release one tomorrow. We'll see. And if they do, I will try to spend a little time on it. And record and, uh, and post it. I know I'm... Still behind posting stuff, so even though today is, what, the 16th, I this won't get up until next week at the earliest, but um, hopefully that's not too much of a distraction. There are other people, bigger YouTubers, who are posting sort of snapshot reviews when the snapshots come out. DocM77, Exuma, and, and others are posting little videos highlighting the the new features um they're not doing it in a survival world they're doing it just you know in creative world to sort of show it off because you know the uh the skeleton horses are as i said extremely rare so they're using command blocks and whatnot to sort of show them off which makes perfect sense but uh anyway so hopefully that's uh Hopefully this is an interesting exercise for for all of you, not just uh, me talking to myself. But uh, for those of you who are watching, thank you. And uh, I will be back uh, probably later this week. And we will have more, more of the Minecraft Snapshot Tour. Alright, thanks for watching. This is Theron. I'll see you later. Bye.